All right, it's been a hot minute since I have been in front of camera, not sitting in front of my computer, but I am in, I drove to downtown Los Angeles for um, one reason, and it was to show you my new car, and I was gonna do it on top of a rooftop, and I got there, and it was like $25 flat rate to park there, and I'm cheap, I'm not gonna do that, so I found a different parking lot next to a train station. So you're gonna hear trains, which is fine, I'll re-record audio if I need to, but you're not here for the sound, you're here for the car. So without further ado, I give you my new 1997 Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution. Why is it out of focus? <laughs> it was at this moment that I realized my wide angle camera doesn't work on this phone and I need a new phone, but this is my new car. And I, I, I first off, I mean, come on. From the second that I saw this car, uh, I was like, there's no way they make cars like this in real life. I mean, when I was like 15, I was like, that's a Hot Wheel. That's like, like, that's literally a Hot Wheels car. And why are they making it? And how do I get one? And I don't know where I first saw it. Maybe it was in, you know, a Motor Trend magazine or maybe it was on a forum, but um, I, I cannot believe that I have this. I'm not gonna get into the detail too much of this car because thankfully uh, Donut Media and a whole bunch of other people have made videos on this car recently like the same week that I got it and I feel like that was a sign I mean they did a great job explaining all of the details and the background and why this car is special but I'll give you a once over real quick it's a race car no literally it's just a race car the uh, part of the reason this was made is because for the paris to dakar rally you had to sell the car to the general public in order to use it and mitsubishi was like okay so so they made the best car and then they just sold them like they literally just said we're gonna make a race car and we're going to sell it and that's that's what we're gonna do and i love that because it then went on to win like 50 percent of the paris to dakar rallies like 13 of 27. i kind of glossed over where i even got this uh that story's cool i was fully in the process of trying to get one that actually recently sold on cars and bids and the price range it was a really nice car and it actually had the wheels that i wanted which were the um factory oz rally turbines which look incredible was lamenting about the fact that it was a little out of my price range to smitty and eli when smitty goes hey you know you know schlatt has one of them right and i went what no he, i mean no way he does because why who why would he have one so i dm'd him he had one he was like i'm looking to get rid of some of my cars do you want it and i was like but I have already started working on it, air quotes, working on it because these are not the way I got them. They had the original red rally flaps, which looked great if they were good looking. Um, and the red is sexy. However, it doesn't really fit in with my entire vision of the car. So I got these from the UK um, and installed them myself, which took what, an hour, not bad. I like the black, it's much more sleek, it looks good. The car is looking sexy. First things first, shout out Schlatt for taking care of this car. I mean, it is like immaculate. I mean, these were Caro's factory, love them. Actually hella comfortable. I mean, like, hello, dude. I mean, look at, look at this. Look, are you kidding me? This car is 28 years old. Oh my God. Oh my God. No discoloration. Oh my God, dude. I, I, I'm, I'm creaming. Got the little salute dangler that came with the vinyl. Shout out salute. Great album. Also makes my car smell fabulous. So we've got ourselves the nice Kenwood new head. So this is great. I mean, you know, just plug it in and it works just fine. The speakers fucking blow though. I mean, look, it's, it's a race car. They weren't like, hey, we got to get the good speakers. This has got to be one of the primary upgrades. I, I, I run a record label. I can't have bad speakers. So I'm hoping to find a really good audio company that can help pop that out, replace this, put a sub in the back. You know the deal. It, it, the car sounds good. Not bad. Listen to it. And then it says, it says, uh, put in your e EDC card, I guess for car rentals. I, I don't really know what's going on with that, but it talks to you every time you turn the car on. That's, that's, that's great. I like it. Just to be clear, when we're driving through the motherfucking Dakar desert in Senegal, you're telling me that nobody, nobody was like, oh my God, I'm getting thirsty. I mean, they, they do. They've got cup holders, fold up armrests and shit. Look at this. They got good room back here. To, I should get back here and show you. Hold on. Oh, ah. I mean, you know, the practicality of a two-door SUV, not very practical, but I'm six foot. 
this is my driving position. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, that's, I mean, we're, I'm, I'm vibing back here. This is my grabber. Uh, so a lot of places in downtown require you to get a ticket to enter the garage. I'm over here. The machine's out there. So I just, I just lean out and I just give them a, oh, the window's closed. I just lean out and I give it the old poke and grab and, and then when I leave, I have to, you know, Chinese fire drill it, you know, get out and run around. You know, I wouldn't say it's convenient to get in to the back seat. You can, much more useful than like a, a Porsche back seat, right? But like, you know, this, this whole car is not made f really for like people that are big under the hood where we can see that it has a very fun, well, my Vic. I mean, a big boy, uh, V6, and with quote unquote 275 horsepower, which I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, it it, it feels like 300 or more. I don't know. It's fun. I I literally have too much fun in this car. I mean, we should just talk about what I want to do with the car while I'm in here. Um, but I, first things first. I mean, you, look. I gotta get rid of that thing, okay? And I have to put a cold air uh, intake or something in there, and uh, I gotta find one that fits. They actually had one, the ARC uh, intake, which you cannot find. Let's talk about the shoes real quick, okay? Um, these are the factory Enki 16 inch rims, which look great. I mean, you know, they do. They look really good for the vehicle, and I do like them. However, it also had the option for these 16 inch Oz turbines, which looked insane. And those are the ones that I want. Shout out Forza though one time, because you guys actually gave me the perfect demo vehicle tool. So now I can just go on Forza and I can just lie to myself and be like, look at all these five, five or four bolt pattern wheels that I can put on this car and pretend that it's on my car and look at the colors that I can do. Real talk though, it did talk me out of putting this, uh, putting a black wrap on this car just because you lose all the body lines. I mean, look, I mean, look, I, this is the best example of why this car looks hot. Look at the fucking lighting on it. Look at how it hits the hips, man. It's making me emotional. You lose that if it's black. You know, the black plastic bits were in pretty okay condition, so I gave them a once over with some uh, plastic restore. The, this was hella bleached out, and I've gone through it maybe like five, six times with restore, and it's looking, I mean, it looks much better, but um, not not perfect, so I think I gotta keep, keep at it. I gotta get a custom tire cover. This one's got like dirt or mold. I can't get that off. So um, that'll probably be a pretty easy one, right? I think I could just get that made like in two weeks. I'm gonna just start asking questions about things that I don't know, cause this is the whole point of the video, right? Like I wanna also learn how to take care of the car better. Um, this is a smoked plastic wind cover because there's no way to open the back windows, right? So if you roll the window down, the air comes through and it gives you that, buh, 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 you know, the shitty buffeting feeling. Is there a way to make this a little bit cleaner? Because I don't want to use glass or uh, like plastic restorer because I don't know if it'll strip the coloring from it. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but you get the question. Same thing with this. How do I, I mean, it's it's oxidized, right? And I did get some, some polish uh, that didn't seem to do too much on it. This is probably really good if you're parallel parking in Japan on the opposite side. However, I'm not parallel parking because you don't, you don't, you don't really need to because the wheelbase of this car is, are you ready for this? It's short, it's, it's, it's so short. It's why this angle makes the car look so sexy. This thing looks like a chode. So that's my car, it's getting way too hot and there's a part of the building reflecting sun directly into my eyes right now. Like what is going on bro, stop. I'm looking for back seaters. Uh, if you wanna back seat my car and tell me all the things that you would do differently or things that you would do if this was your car, I'm here for it. I am. This is the start of hopefully a long journey of me learning how to better take care of my car. Also, I was just finishing editing the video and I have a question. Why is every 6x139.7 wheel the embodiment of pit vipers? Like, it, like every one of these wheels is so bad. Where are the tasteful 136, 9, 130, fuck!